I I know we did x squared equals 36. Did we do the middle one yet? I don't I didn't think so, right? Okay, that was at the end of the argument. Okay. Well, now that Cohen's not in the class anymore, we've got to choose somebody else. We have a new we have to have a you're gonna be the starter? Excellent. So you're gonna start every day, just so we're clear. And that means you can either answer or you can choose somebody else. Okay. Do you remember what the answer was for x squared equals 36? Plus or minus 6. And the, the key part there is um, how come negative 6 is an answer? Like how come that one works? Okay, negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. So it's both positive and negative. Now, I know the part that we didn't get to. Right here, um, on the next question, uh, oh, pick somebody. Ekram. Ekram. What's the, oh, actually I forgot how to, well, we'll see if you can answer. If you can't, we'll just throw out a pin. Basically a packet. No? Same packet. Uh, this packet, we weren't really going in the order. It was printed, so it's making it hard. Uh, it's like in the middle of the packet. Box. We only did this for about five minutes yesterday, so you missed nothing. Um, do you know what the opposite of <clears throat> Do you know what the opposite of squared is? Okay, Should throw it out to anybody else. Okay, yeah. square root. So, if I want to cancel that squared symbol right there. I'm going to do a square root on both sides. So the square root cancels off a squared symbol. And then it would just say x equals. Uh, oh, nobody has a calculator. Oh, there we go. Coda, what's the square root of 121 on your calculator? 11. But then Coda, we, uh, we are smarter than the calculator. So what is the answer actually going to be? It's not 11. Plus or minus 11. So your calculator doesn't really know what you're trying to find out. And so your calculator just gives you the one answer. It just gives you 11. But since we are trying to get 121, by squaring something, a negative number also works. So I, I, I wanna make sure that you guys understand that the calculator is never gonna tell you plus or minus. You can use your calculator to get answers, but it's not going to give you all of it. Okay. <clears throat> Harper? What would we do on this next one? The one that says x squared equals 225. How come? You're right. You're absolutely right. It has the squared. So we want to cancel off that little squared symbol. So we're going to do the square root on both sides. Okay? Um, any calculator you guys use today will work just fine because the square root on any calculator is the same. Now, I know, I know when you type in square root of 225, it's going to tell you 15. And then Harper's gonna tell us that that's not the answer. The answer is? Good. Come on, there we go. Okay. Somebody I haven't called on for a while. David. David, I have not called on you for a while. Okay. If I'm looking at this problem right here, am I going to want to take the square root right away to cancel off that squared symbol? No, because that minus 25 is also there, and that will screw things up. What do we have to do first? Perfect, add 25 to both sides.
So I believe you guys have a lot of room at the top of this, right? Yeah. We didn't write anything up there. I need you to have a big asterisk, highlight, whatever you like to do to highlight things in your notes. <coughs> Square root is only for when the whole side of the equation is squared. symbol only works when an entire side of the equation is squared. And that's almost always what students get confused on when you first start learning square root stuff. It doesn't work. It only cancels off a squared symbol. But if your side of the equation has a bunch of things, it's not just going to like cancel the squared symbol only it's gonna do the square root of the whole side. So this is our goal. If you're trying to solve an equation with a squared like we're trying to do, this is what we're trying to make it look like. The whole side has to be squared. So when David added 25, that purposely made it so the whole left-hand side is squared. And when that happens, we can do square root. And then Jackie's going to tell me the answer is? Uh, plus and minus. Good. Uh, I am emphasizing the plus and minus a lot because it is super easy to forget. OK, good. Wes, we're working our way up, making things a little bit harder. What should we do first on this next one? Should we square it first, or should we add 40 first? OK, we're going to add 40 so that the squared would be the only thing left. Okay, we get x squared equals 100. And then now I have an entire side squared. So I square root. Oh. If the marker works. There we go. Taylor, what's the answer going to be then? 10. Oh, that's so close. There we go, plus or minus 10. So using the calculator sometimes is going to throw you off just because it doesn't tell you plus or minus. Uh, just so go. You have a brain, you're smart. Your calculator only does what you tell it to do. The square root of 100 is 10. But the way we're using it, both work. OK, I feel like I can skip this last one because it's the same as the other two. We are going to get to a little bit harder. Oh, no. I'll go to I'll do the left hand side first. Zach, guide us on that upper left one. 4x squared equals negative, or 4x squared minus 13 equals 23. Okay. Adding 13. Good step. Now we've got 4x squared equals 36. Should we do square root now? No. How come? Uh, because it has 4x and it has to be that. X. OK. The whole side isn't squared. The 4 is there, and that 4 isn't being squared. So we want to get rid of everything that's not squared. So divide by 4, and then it says x squared equals 9. Okay, good catch. Good catch. I'll slow down. I know I'm, I'm going kind of quick, I suppose. My guess is you are going to find this section much more enjoyable than the previous couple sections just because these are not going to have a ton of steps. Like this one feels more natural for you. It's like a normal equation ish. Macy, I bet you are going to be able to tell me the answer already. 
You are 100% correct. How did you get plus and minus three? What did we do? You did it on your calculator, but you, what did we need to do here? Square root, yep. I, I, it's gonna be really easy just to get in the habit of automatically hitting the square root button. Um, I just wanna make sure you guys know when you're supposed to do it. But your answer was completely right. Good, nice job. Last example that we are gonna to do together. This would be probably the most difficult. Uh, Cave? Any thoughts? Add two, okay. How come you're choosing to add two? You're right though. Just felt like it? Okay, it is correct. What would have been the other choice that you were trying to pick between? Okay, we would not minus four because the plus four is inside parentheses. So we can't get rid of that plus four until later, much later. We're gonna get rid of the minus two first. <clears throat> and then right now, the squared is on the whole left-hand side. The squared is on the X and it's on the plus four. So we are gonna to need to do the square root before anything with the plus four. We need to do the square root to cancel off that square, cancel off that squared symbol. Um, Brody, what would I write on the next line? Like x squared four squared? I don't know, that's kind of what I was asking you. What does the square root symbol do? Why did we even put that square root symbol there? Okay, does everybody remember why we put a square root symbol there? Okay, we put that square root symbol there to cancel off the squared. So if it helps you, you, you can literally like, well, come on. If it helps you, you can literally like cross them off because that's their purpose, is to cancel something off. And so Brody, if, if I crossed off the square root symbol and I crossed off the squared, What's left on the left-hand side? X plus four. The plus four is still with it. The whole reason I did the square root symbol was just to cancel off the squared symbol. Like when we're solving equations, that's all we ever do is we like cancel things off. And we try to get down to just the letter by itself. So we added two first to cancel off the minus two. Then we did the square root to cancel off the little squared symbol. And now we are going to, Thomas, what's the last thing we're gonna do? Minus the four. Minus the four. Excellent. And that cancels off the plus four. And so we, we got it down to what we wanted it. We wanted just the letter left. Oh dear, now, now how do I write the answer? They, I, I don't want to call on somebody for this one. Does anybody think they know how to write the answer from what this says? Plus or minus three minus four? Anybody want to take a guess? Sure, what? Is it negative one and negative, or yeah, negative seven? Uh, yes, but I think you lost everybody by just giving the answers, but you're correct. So what you did was you did positive three minus four, or negative three minus four. Like that's how the plus or minus works. You do it once, you do it once with the plus, you do it again with the negative. So positive three minus four is negative one, or negative three minus four is negative seven. We ended up with two answers. I mean, we've actually had two answers for every question so far but we usually just wrote plus or minus. But this, this one's a little bit different because we had a number inside the parentheses. Did this one feel a lot more confusing? Should we do another one of these before I let you guys work? I've been fine with that, yeah. I think there's another one on this page, there it is. 
So the problems are going to be kind of mixed together from here on out. We basically just went through and tried to cover all the different kinds. Okay, so x minus 5 squared minus 2 equals 14. Do you guys want to try it on your own to see if you can start it? Or like get the answer correct on your own and then we'll do it together right afterwards? See if you can figure that one out on your own and then we'll, then we'll go over it. Just do the opposite to cancel things out. <clears throat> and use your calculator if you want. I don't think that's in this problem, though. Are you doing a different one? Okay, good. I was going to say, because this one, you shouldn't have had that. Tony, do you feel like you got it? No? Did you, did you get it started and they got stuck somewhere? Okay, how'd you start it? That's perfect. Add two first. We're basically just trying to cancel stuff. We want the x all by itself, so we're trying to cancel off the things on it. So we add two first. In my head, I always just think of this as the farthest away. And so I just, I cancel things as they get closer to the x. Okay, so then it says x minus 5 squared equals 16. And then you're basically, in your head, you're trying to decide, should I cancel the squared next, or should I cancel the minus 5 next? Lara, you feel like you know that one. Which one should we cancel next, the squared or the minus 5? Squared. Squared is a little bit further away than the minus 5. The minus 5, oh, actually, maybe I'll say it differently. The squared is on both of those things. So I need to cancel the squared because it's, it's like stopping me from getting rid of the minus 5. So I'm going to do square root next. And then that's sole purpose is to cancel the squared's index. So then this will say x minus 5. And close. How about square root of 16? What should I write there? Plus or minus. Oh, so close. But you got the plus or minus right. I think you just cut it in half in your head on accident. What? Square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. It's easy to accidentally cut, cut them in half rather than like times and such. And then, um, Hayden, did you, how about the last step? Did you get that one? Okay, what do I do next? Last. Okay, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides and cancel off that minus 5. And you got... Good 5. Close. <clears throat> Positive 4 plus 5, and then negative 4 plus 5. So the 9 was correct, and I think that's when you probably, in your head, just made it plus or minus 9. But the other answer is going to be 1. The, the plus and minus goes on the 4. You're still adding 5 at both times. I would say, I would consider this type of question to be definitely the hardest of what you're working on today. 
most of them are relatively straightforward, like the rest of the examples we have. Um, I guess I, I don't know if I should ask or not. How many people actually got one or nine? Okay, that's that's really good. Um, I I'm going to guess that most people made it pretty correct two thirds of the way for the problem, and then just kind of made a mental error on part of it. Hi. Hi. Thanks. Is this feeling easier than the quadratic formula, probably? Yes? Okay, I mean, for one, you don't have to memorize anything. That's definitely a plus. Why don't we take the last 15 minutes? Um, I don't, I forgot it was an R&R &R day when I was planning things out. Um, in my head, I was thinking that I would have you guys do this page and the next page, but I'm not sure if that's too much. Just this page? Well, you said out loud whatever you wanted to think. Um, all right, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's try to do just this page. You guys, you guys actually followed along really awesome during the notes today. So uh, let's do just this page. We'll do it like a slight reward. Huh? Okay, I'm good with that. Okay.